cash brought by partners for purchasing shares. Journal entries. P, Q and R are partners of a firm, sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 1 is to 1. P, Q, R, okay, and their existing ratio or the existing profit sharing ratio is 3 is to 1 is to 1. P retires, right? Or we can just write this as 3 by 5, 1 by 5 and 1 by 5. P retires and sells his shares of profits to Q and R for 20,000 and 12,000. Okay? Now basically this guy when he retired he sold off his share of profit to Q and R. And what they did was that 20,000 was the total money he received out of which 12,000 was paid by Q and 8,000 by R for which they bring in necessary cash. Profits for the year after P's retirement were rupees 15,000. Pass journal entries for the transfer of P's share to Q and R and calculate the new profit sharing ratio and distribute the profits between Q and R. Now, if you were to understand the context, what happens here is that there were these three partners, P, Q and R, they were sharing profits and losses in this ratio. Then this guy just moved out and these two bought out his share. Okay? To buy his share, they brought the necessary cash. Okay? Now, once this guy moves out, the entire profits actually belong to these two and their share is going to be the existing ratio, which is this plus whatever they got from P. Right? And that will give you, so I can write here as gain ratio. When this is added, you get the new profit sharing ratio. Now tell me something, once this guy has moved out, okay, then basically what will happen? Once this guy moves out, then whatever is his share of profit, that goes to these two people and therefore they are going to share the future profits which is 15,000 amongst themselves in the ratio which will come after retirement from P. Right? So let's see. Now Q and R bought how much? 12,000 and 8,000 rupees respectively. If you see the ratio of these two numbers, it is 4 not actually 4, it is 3 is to 2, right? So effectively if we see, what is the amount of share? That Q will get. Q is going to get 3 fifth and QR is going to get 2 fifth of P's share. So P gets how much? 3 by 5 into 3 by 5 or let me use a different color I guess 9 upon 5 and R will get 2 fifth of 3 fifth actually 9 by 25 not 9 by 5 okay and this will be 6 by 25 so the ratio of Q is going to be how much 1 upon 5 plus 9 upon 25 if you solve this you will get uh, 5 5 plus 9 14 by 25 and this will be 1 upon 5 plus 6 upon 25 or 11 upon 25 so the new ratio is going to be equal to 14 by 25 for Q and 11 by 25 for R or simply 14 is to 11 right now once you know the new profit sharing ratio which is 14 is to 11, obviously the future profits or 15,000 is going to be shared between Q and R in what ratio? Q will get 14 by 25 into 15,000 and R will get 11 by 25 into 15,000. Let's use the calculator to see what's the value which we get. So 14 into 15 divided by 
25 8400 right and uh, you can straight away get the answer as 7600 also by subtracting 8400 from this or just to check we can also write this as 11 divided by 25 into 15,000 oh it's actually 6600 <laughs> I did an error in calculation right now once we have all these things can we pass the entries why not so the first entry is going to be what we will debit the account of Q and R Q's capital account debit R's capital account debit to P's capital account by how much by 12,000 and 8,000 and 20,000 credit. The reason is now goodwill being goodwill recorded. Now the total goodwill which is created is 20,000 okay and out of which Q is going to get 12,000 R is going to get 8,000. So that's why I've debited them in the respective ratio. The second entry will be what? These two guys bring in cash. So we will debit bank account. Why? Stroke cash account. Because on receipt of cash or bank account, the asset is increasing. So I will debit this by 20,000. Two. Q is bringing how much? 12,000. Two. R. 8,000. Why? Because he's bringing in 8,000. Right? Being cash received right the third entry which is going to be there is in respect of transfer of profit okay or let's say even before that let's just assume that P has to be paid off so we can just debit P's capital account debit to bank 20,000 right this is because we have just paid him for that money right and the last entry is going to be for the transfer of profit right on transfer of profit what do we do we will debit the profit and loss account why because this has a credit balance okay so we are debiting it and I reducing it to nil how much was the amount the amount of profit was 15,000 right and 8,400 and 6,600 to Q and R to Q to R 8400 6600 15000 because when you transfer the profit to a partner's capital account it is increased and an increase in capital account is reflected by crediting it so we credited the account of Q and R and because the profit and loss account has a credit balance okay for profit we have just credited debited it to reduce it to nil right with that we come to an end of this video. I hope you would have understood it. If there are any queries please write them down. You can subscribe to our channel okay, or you can come to our website and see all these videos. Many many more which are organized chapter wise and uh, syllabus wise. Have a happy learning.